Hi, my name is Jesse Dion, and I'm a paleo artist living in northwestern Alberta. So I guess I've always been an artist since I'm very young. Uh, I also come from a family of artists. Uh, so I would draw sometimes castles and dragons and big battles. The world of dinosaurs, it's very fantastical, very creative. It's hard to imagine that such creatures actually lived, uh, but uh, I've been drawing dinosaurs for, for quite a long time. Paleo art is actually a very important part of paleontology, and in fact, being a paleo artist is a career. The reason it's so important is because a lot of what we deal with in paleontology is extinct. I know, real shocker, right? But the fact that it's extinct means that we can't go out and photograph it. How the animal looked, how it moved, all of that information comes from the fossil record. And paleo artists come in and they help us take all of that information we get from the fossil bones or the fossil shells and makes it into something that not only the public can understand, something as we as paleontologists can really relate to. So how do we get from this Pachyranosaurus skeleton to this fleshed out artwork? Personally, my process is to make things as accurate as possible, uh, that looks really realistic. Uh, so uh, the primary thing you need to know is the skeleton of the animal. From there, you start adding things onto the bones, onto the skeleton. So uh, then it starts taking shape. Uh, the muscles will really recreate the overall shape. Uh, but then after that, at the end, toward the end, you have all those variables. So you can have uh, fat deposits, you can have air sacs, you can have uh, weird fleshy crest, uh, feathers, things that will add, uh, things that will change the appearance of the animal, but things that would not be fossilized. Uh, and obviously there's the color aspect. It depends of the environment where the animal was uh, living. There is a bit of freedom of creativity when it comes to that. So what a paleo artist will do is they will look at the fossils of the dinosaur and they'll reconstruct the dinosaur and then they'll look at what evidence we have from the plant fossil record and they'll reconstruct the plants as well. One very important aspect of recreating extinct animals, um, especially when the general public imagine them as being usually very, very large, is to be able to convey that sense of how big they were. You could have a piece of driftwood, uh, a tree maybe, and then you'll be you'll be able to gauge uh, the size of the uh, dinosaur. And if you want to make a tiny little dinosaur, uh, you can have big giant fern around it, something like that. Uh, but it, it really helps to put the, uh, the animal into perspective and uh, the, the, to be able to compare the size of the animal. So paleo art is really a way that we can visualize ancient life. And this is a very important part of paleontology. Paleontology requires a lot of imagination if you think about it. Um, and paleo artists who a lot of them are actually scientists themselves really help bring fossils to life. If you like to draw dinosaurs, called dinosaurs or any other prehistoric animals, uh, there's actually a career for it and we're discovering so much more and we need artists to be able to represent uh, those changes.